What's up everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to map your PlayStation controller to your RetroPie system. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our input configuration settings here. So if you go to your start menu, I'm actually starting from the first time here with a wired one. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit um, any button, just hold that down until it registers here. If you were already in your system, you would just go to your start menu and then down to configure input. And then this would pop up here. This is your configuration page for setting up any controller. So today we're going to go over the PlayStation controller. I have a PlayStation 2 controller here. So first thing you want to do if you have this version is just hit this analog button. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. So now we're going to go in and just follow the instructions here on the configuring page. So we're going to go to our D-pad. We're going to go up, down, left, right. We're going to hit our start, hit our select. A, which is on here, is going to be the circle. Um, for B, we're going to hit X. For Y, or for X on our screen, we're actually going to hit the um, triangle here up at the top. For Y on our screen, we're going to hit the square. And now we're going to do our left shoulder, which is up here, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. Now we're going to hit our left thumb. Hit the right thumb in. Now we're going to go to our analog on the left side. So it's going to be left analog up, left analog down, left analog left, left analog right. Same thing on the right side. So right analog up, right analog down, right analog left, right analog right. And now for the hotkey, which is the button that we're going to set in order to exit games, we're going to hit the select button. So I'll demo this now real quick. So in order to hit OK, we're just going to go over and hit the circle. It'll load for a second. So now we're onto our main screen. So if we actually go in here, let's, um, let's jump in here just to demo this. And we'll go to the um, 1942 game. We're just going to let this load, and I'm just going to demonstrate how the um, hotkey works. So since we already had selected the um, select button here in configurations. In order to exit the game, we actually have to hit the start and the select together. So if we're in here playing and we want to get out of this game, we'll just hit both of these together and we'll exit our screen here. Um, that's it for today. I just want to show you guys how to do this. I've been getting a lot of questions on exactly how to go through the mapping process for PlayStation controller. Um, it doesn't matter whether you have the PlayStation 2 like I have here, which is wired in, or if you're going through your Bluetooth settings. Um, in order to pair your Bluetooth controller to your system, it's a definitely a different process. But in terms of the mapping process and, and configuring the actual controls, it doesn't matter which version of the PlayStation controller you have. It's going to be the exact same setup, um, exact same process. So that's it for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here for um, gameplay videos, tutorials, and just some really cool tours of our different card options here. So um, definitely check us out online as well, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.